The UK failed to track detainees handed over to the US, neglecting to protect them from possible abuse. The shocking revelations forced through by British MPs expose a secret agreement over the treatment of prisoners passed over to Washington by London. RT's Daniel Bushel met one victim who spent years in America's most notorious overseas prison. Murat Kurnaz was arrested on the streets and sent to Guantanamo for torture. After five years, America released him without charge. To this day, the U.S. has given no explanation or said sorry. Kurnaz is suing George Bush's lawyer Alberto Gonzalez for ruling torture is legal. Interrogators from the land of the free are free to cause, quote, simulated drowning, rape by instrumentality, impairment of bodily function, organ failure and even death. I was uh, one of those who t survived those kind of torture. Uh, on myself they used uh, electroshocks because I would not sign papers. Uh, I should... Uh, I was forced to agree that I am a member of Taliban and Al-Qaeda, and I said uh, I am not. The U.S. refused to even reveal they were holding Kurnaz. His mother asked this lawyer to find her son. It took several years. There was no chance to get in contact with Mr. Kurnaz. It's really a shame for the United States. What happened in Guantanamo is torture concerning the international law. And it's simply impossible in the 21st century to put someone in an extra legal room and saying you have no rights. Bush fought moves to end the practices. They are imposing a set of standards on our uh, intelligence communities in terms of interrogating prisoners that our people will think will be ineffective. In a declassified memo, Gonzalez did warn U.S. guards it was legally safer to perform torture on foreign soil. Ministers in the European Union were glad to oblige. The EU agreed to help arrest and transport people to countries where they could be tortured in a meeting here at NATO headquarters in 2001. Detainees may or may not have been guilty since they never received a real trial. We just can't know for sure. Barack Obama was elected on the promise to shut Guantanamo, but he's even appealed U.S. court rulings, which give detainees some rights. Two years on, the prison's still open for business. Not only is the Bush administration guilty of, crimi of uh, crimes against humanity, so is the Obama administration, and so is the European Parliament for participating and supporting these actions. U.S. executives from Bush down now fear going abroad after foreigners filed lawsuits over torture. When the world learns what America's doing, said Bush's advisor, we will all be ashamed. Daniel Bushell, RT, Bremen.